The O'Fallon Park Recreation Complex is now complete and awaits its grand opening. At two stories, 79,000 square feet, it's a powerful symbol of hope for St. Louis City's north side. Proud city officials say construction of this size and scope has not been seen here in over 40 years. It's going to be huge. Um, nothing like this exists over here. Um, so finally having a top-notch facility where people can come and recreate, uh, can be a community, can interact with their neighbors is going to be huge. Um, we've already started a process a year or two ago of revitalizing O'Fallon Park, but this rec center is now just going to be the crown jewel of the park. Uh, it's going to attract a lot of people from all over the region to this, to this area. Uh, and really it's going to show what can be done in North St. Louis. Hopefully it will inspire other large-scale projects like this. Alderman Antonio French of the 21st Ward has been part of the project from the beginning. Today, he along with other city residents take a full walkthrough of the place. So the, the building itself is uh, beautifully designed. Uh, it has wings, and so in one wing you have classrooms set up and rooms for programming and multi-purpose rooms. So in that wing, there is a, already a facility, a, a section for, um, for a preschool program, uh, for a babysitting program. So when an adult comes to use the workout facility, they have a place that uh, they can bring their child for a couple hours while they work out. Uh, there's a section for senior activities, a large multi-purpose room, which we plan to make big use of over here for all kinds of different activities. Then in another wing, we've got a section where there is a workout facility. The complex cost $20 million to build, has an inside jogging track and spectacular water facilities for adults and children. This includes a spa, sauna, whirlpool, and a huge water slide. The aquaport, the pool, the, the pool is spectacular. I've never seen one like that. I've been, I've been to seen a lot of pools, but I've never seen one like that, ever. So you've got an indoor pool with a water park. Uh, that the kids are just going to enjoy immensely. Uh, this is going to be something that I'm going to bring my child to and everybody's going to want to bring their kids to. Make no mistake about it, says French, the building is top notch and gives a great deal of credit for that to S.M. Wilson, the builders. You know, we always look at things from a quality standpoint and uh, like I said, we're proud of the building, but the workmanship here is just, it's, it's stellar. Fred Jackal, who's the vice president for S.M. Wilson, adds that there are many details that stand out. I'm struck by the fact that the, the dome that's in the center, that we nicknamed it the drum, it does grab your eye and it really says, wow, that looks pretty neat. The floor in the lobby is a new, unique product, a stained product, and it, 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 get, it grabs my eye right away. Residents here in North St. Louis are equally impressed by the center. Some are even awed. Tell me what your thoughts were when you walked into this place for the first time. Oh, awesome. Awesome. We thought even the parking lot was so huge, and we thought, and it's all so private. And to walk in this area, in our area, it is so amazing. It is. Out of all those years I've been here, I mean, this is the first. I'm very happy and and excited about it. it it's really nice. And I'm particularly uh, interested in the all-purpose room because we've had family reunions for 53 years. I like to have one here. <laughs> I first thought this is, it feels, felt like um, home. That's what I said over there. I said, this feels so comfortable. Like, you know, you could make it your home. <laughs> That's how it felt to me. Girl Scout troop leader Lisa Chapman sums up her feelings in one word. Pride, just pride. As a mother, you know, as a, a person involved in our community. Just, just prideful, that's it. You know, a lot of credit needs to be given to the Automatic Black Caucus. Uh, they worked for years on this project to make sure from the very beginning until today that it was done right and that it was done in a way that really allows uh, most participation of African Americans in our community, both in the construction and afterwards as the, as the facility is being built. It's been a, a great success. We've had over one third of every man hour on this project go towards a minority, so that's actual money in the pockets of people in the community. 
On top of that, 40% of all the cost of this, of this job, $20 million, went to minority firms. The recreation center, located on 13 acres just off I-70 in O'Fallon Park, near West Florissant, is expected to open at the end of summer or the beginning of the fall. The city is negotiating with the YMCA to run the facility. Alderman French says membership will be open to everyone and the youth will be able to join at discounted rates. I'm Tim Lampley for STL-TV, Experience St. Louis.